You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. With us, we have New Jersey's go-to implant dentist. He, in fact, is the inventor of the XL dental implant process, where doctors all over the country are learning how to place or, or, or get a brand new set of teeth in just one afternoon. With us, we have Dr. Jonathan Abenine. Dr. Abenine, welcome to the program. Hey, Randy, thanks for having me. Now, I know you brought a stack of photos, so I don't know how many we can fit in because, it, and you're in fact, is that a wall of before and afters behind you? Yeah, it's, I call it uh, my wall of fame. It's, uh, it's sort of a wall that we show off to, for our patients that have come in and really have changed their lives and really stood up for themselves to uh, get the life that they want with their smile. So when we say at the top of the show, in one day, I mean, literally they could come in on an appointment and I'm gonna put you on the spot here. They could come in on their first appointment, you get all the imaging, you, you get their whole history. And then I guess if everything works out right, on the very second appointment, they could get, they could walk in with no teeth and walk out with upper and lower teeth that don't come out. Is that correct? Yeah, you know, unfortunately what happens is, is that some uh, patients will end up in, a, in another dental office and they'll do it the way that they've always been taught to do it. And today in 2021, we really want to be able to do dentistry predictably. So say in the traditional way, whether it's done in the office or not, it can take six to eight hours. In my process, it can be two hours. The patient would come in, we would do the surgery, they'd be asleep with sedation that's really, really safe. And then they'd wake up and they have their teeth the same day. How soon could they eat? I mean, after it's done on that day. So they can eat right away. It's just the type of food that they can eat. They sort of go on this uh, diet, a healthy diet, I would call it, to start to eat the foods that nourish them, that allow them to heal uh, quickly, that really we teach them how to get better so that their bone gets better, so that everything heals the way it needs to be. But before you know it, they're back to normal, and not even just normal, better than what they started. They're able to eat exactly what they wanted to eat, what they've been dreaming of eating. They're able to order on the menu what they wanted. So you were on my show more than a year ago. What's changed since then? Are you just faster now than you were back then? More efficient? So, you know, since the last time I was on your show, we've helped hundreds, if not thousands of patients to really get their life back. But one of the things that we do is we fine tune everything. We've made the teeth look better. We've made the process go faster. And we've invented even more things that we've patented to allow our treatment to be even more predictable. Okay, so no more dentures. Do you think dentures are just gonna be a thing of the past, like right, like sooner than later, where nobody will, will be wearing a denture, they'll all be attached to implants? What are your thoughts? I really, think that, I really think that dentures are gonna be a thing of the past. And the reason for that is dentistry has become so predictable. There's no more of a, of a question of, am I a candidate or not? We've developed techniques that every single patient can come and get treatment. If you can get in a car, like I've said in the past, and come and see me, I can treat you. So what if, if you're, you've been what, told, yeah, but what if you're 85 years old and maybe you're on a couple of, uh, you know, medications for bone density, or you have a little bit of type two diabetes or whatever, you know, 85 year olds are on a lot of medications. Can those people qualify for this? And do you do patients like that? Yeah, so as long as we have a consultation with your doctor to make sure that you're under control, just because you have diabetes, just because you are 85 years old, doesn't make you not be able to get this treatment. I wish I could rotate this camera and show you, but I have a woman right next to me. She's 94 now. She was 90, 91 when I started. So you may say 85, but age is not a factor for us. Wait, 94, why would a, 90, why would a 94 year old want to do this? That's an amazing question. She said to me, I said to her, why would you want to do this? She said to me, even if I live two more years, I want it to be the best two years of my life. Why should I continue not looking the way that I want to? Why should I continue not eating the way that I want to? It's two more years. Who cares about time? Imagine you had one more day left. You'd want the best day of your life. You want to so be able to eat. Patients, yeah, they want to be able to eat. They want to be able to do what they want to do. They want to go out with their friends. Nobody's creating a death sentence to themselves. They want to be able to be happy. And that's the thing. That's what the Excel process does for them. We don't waste their time. They don't spend all this time in the, in the office. It's so predictable. It's so quick. Then they just move on with their lives. Now, you know, one of the things we talked on the telephone and, you know, I wanted you to do this interview via satellite. And that is you wanted people to know that when you, if you are going to go to a dentist and get dental implants to get new teeth, ask for, do you have the, are you doing the Excel program or Excel 
dental implant process. Is that what they're supposed to ask? And maybe they should write yeah, that down. They should definitely ask their doctor if they're doing the Excel implant process, just because the process is created so well that it doesn't bother the patient's life. It's so predictable that there's no more, hmm, is it gonna work, is it not gonna work? It's gonna work. And that's the whole beauty of it. No more is a patient told he can't be, he or she can't be seen. He or she is not a candidate. It's important that there's no more questions of what my teeth are gonna look like. Are they gonna look great or not? They always look great because we take every single part into account. That's why it's called a process. We make it as simple as a calculator, one plus one equals two. Okay, every yep. time. Yeah, but what about somebody that has gum disease, bleeding gums, loose teeth, really bad gums, okay? And they're watching this. And maybe they were told they need a denture elsewhere or they, or they feel like they're headed to a denture. Are their gums too bad to do this? I mean, how do you take care of those type of people? Yeah, it's interesting that you ask that because sometimes they get that information from their dentist. And it's really important to, to be informed. Before you pull out all of your teeth, really get the information that you need to. We have a ton of patients that had gum disease in the past. We get rid of the disease, they have brand new implants, and they change their life. They come in, we take care of them. Our digital process is just so predictable that there's just no other way to do it. So even if you take somebody with bad gum disease, and you have to remove all their teeth could because you can't save them. They're infected. Gums get healthy, you clean it up, you can put implants, brand new set of teeth, upper, lower. It, 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 does it, if you have the gum disease and have to do extractions, does that take you an extra four to six months? Because that's what I've been told. Does not. Does not. Um, the time is the same. It's all about the density of your bone under your teeth. So we were able to go in and see exactly what the patient needs, but the process uses biology and uses technology to allow us to get to the final result as fast as we possibly can. Okay, good. So you brought some before and afters. What are we looking at? So I want to show you, this is my first patient. This is Joe. And it was uh, really interesting to get to meet him because I remember him sitting in my consult room, sort of being maybe uh, like not uninterested almost and saying, well, yeah, I saw you on TV and I heard what you got to say, but there were some other people on TV I want to come and check it out, you know, like okay. the, the New Jersey way. And um, while we were talking to him, he started to really listen. We started to show him all of before and afters. And let me tell you something. This man changed from skeptic to a new man. <laughs> so you can just see it in his eyes. You can just see it how he just looks better. He feels better. And he said to me, Doc, it was a lot of money, but it was worth every penny. And I wish I would have done this sooner. So what is a guy like that? Because his appearance has changed. When you, when you put the before and after side by side, it's changed. I mean, he looks more sophisticated. He looks more handsome. Uh, when they what do they like more? The, what they could eat or, or how they look? I think that it's, a, it's something even that they may not even see. It's the way that they feel internally. And the way that they feel internally changes everything about them. It's hard for them to be able to um, verbalize how they feel. They just act differently. Their subconscious that they've been hiding now comes out and it's just, they're a new person. They're who they always wanted to be. Just with something as simple as just fixing your teeth. It's really? just unbelievable. Okay, so here's another patient. You can, see, right. you can see his before, he's still able to smile, but he created other things to maybe hide himself, whether he grew his facial hair a little bit more, whether he wore something on his head to try and hide. You know, we create all these nonverbal, non-seeing non things that are really blocking to where we are. But man, look at his after. He nice. looks like a new man. He told me that his life has changed so much, he doesn't stop smiling. Imagine actually coming to the dentist because you want to, not because you have to, where you haven't been to the dentist for years because you've had a bad experience. Because you've been told that, a and B is gonna happen, but D happened. But finally, what you were told will happen. That's the beauty of the Excel implant process. What we tell you will happen, will happen. And the patients are just so satisfied. They're just so happy because it's something that they've always wanted to have, but they didn't think it existed. You know, I always tell patients, why do you wait this long? Why did you wait to come and see me? And I, I've been trying to, I, you know, we, we get on this show to try and show people to, to make, people aware that this process exists. And they all say to me, I just didn't know it existed. My dentist told me I wasn't a candidate. 
I didn't think this was possible, but I heard what you had to say and I had to come and see it for myself. And here's the biggest thing I'm going to tell you, Randy. All right. They say after their process is done, they sit back at home and they watch the show again. And they say to me, it's from their, their words. They say, Randy was a little tough on you, but everything that you said was going to happen on your show is exactly the way my process was. And they say, just thank you because it's just been unbelievable for me. You know, I'm and, and my, my apologies for being tough on you that last time, because, you know, look, I also in my ear, I have people, medical doctors and dentists that say, I don't know, push him on this, you know, that he could do this in three days, that he could do it in two days. So I, I went in with a chip on my shoulder on that last interview, like, really, this could be done that quickly. And uh, and now that I've seen enough of your patients and, and, and done my research, it's actually real. And by the way, I've interviewed two of your students that say, Dr. Jonathan Abedine is my mentor. And, and I said, uh, what's it like over there? He goes, it's, it's incredible. I have an oral surgeon, by the way, that flew to you in New Jersey, learned the program, and then came on my show. And you know, this is an oral surgeon. And uh, you know, they rave about this process. So the Excel, yeah. so ask for the Excel implant process and they could find doctors across the country that have this training. Is that correct? Yes, I appreciate that. Thank you. But I wanted to just continue on what you said in terms of chip on your shoulder. And it made me think of this patient right here. This is an unbelievable patient. He came in and it was almost that he was always upset at us. No matter what we did, we were, he was always upset. And I never understood. I said, maybe something's going on in his life. I'm not sure. But as we started talking to him, he said, I'm getting married. My, uh, my fiance is a doctor. She really wants me to have my teeth fixed. And it's unbelievable, the transition. Talk about a chip on your shoulder. Think of a brick on your shoulder. He got this brick off and this guy comes in and is the happiest, go lucky guy. I mean, look at this after. This is truly unbelievable. <laughs> this good. man is like, talk about 180. He's, and I'm really, I just feel so blessed to be able to be able to give this type of process that, you know, I got the brains to be able to create this, but even more so that my patients allow me to do this for them because I'm there to help them. And really, really, I don't say this lightly, but change their life. And, it, and you know, when you don't have healthy teeth, forget the way it looks, you don't feel good inside. Now, you know, allows you to really fix, fix that. One of, the, one of the things you've actually talked to me about is that in life, if you don't like something about yourself, it holds you back. Your hair, your ears, your nose. And if you don't like your teeth, it holds you back. You don't smile, you don't present well. And when you give them that back, so you get to see this transformation. I mean, do you go home and talk about this? Cause I know you're a bit of a fanatic about this. It's like, I've tried yeah. to call you outside of work and this and that, and we end up talking about teeth and, and about somebody you helped that day. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is my passion. Like you can, uh, if you actually see me on Instagram, you can see I'm sometimes in here at six o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. Because I, I'm so excited to get these patients their teeth that I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure they get it because I want to see that life change. Like, uh, I mean, I want to show you this patient right here. Okay. This is a patient. He drove about two hours to see me. People say, oh, you know, where are you? Yeah, we have one location. It's in New Jersey. People drive. And it's worth it to drive because the amount of time that you actually save in the office is worth it everything. So this patient right here, imagine you have a patient, he goes to work every single day. This is what he told me, Bill. I go to work every single day. I work really, really hard, but I'm with my family and my family take pictures. I don't smile. And I take, you know, Christmas cards and, and all these different holidays that we have done. I just don't smile. Imagine when I say, I look at that and I'm like, I can change that for you. And it's not just a Christmas card, but it's everything. Imagine, not having the, uh, the the grumpy uncle at the table. Okay. All of a sudden, that uncle is the life of the party. And I mean, <laughs> look at this final. Look at him. This yeah, is looks good. Unbelievable. His hair is better. His eyes are lit up. This is something you know. When patients have bad teeth, they may say, "Well, I don't deserve this. I'm busy taking care of other people." Do this for you. This is nice. something that you deserve. It's now, time for now, you to feel healthy. Doctor Abadine, you know we have to mention so. You know, Medicaid for sure doesn't cover this process. So if you're on Medicaid, it doesn't cover. It's a cash procedure. Uh, even the best dental insurance covers like such a tiny part. And uh, Medicare doesn't cover this. And you say people are financing this all the time. You have these lenders, as long as you have decent credit. 
Are people doing that? Yeah. yeah. So we, yeah, we have a lot of our patients actually, you know, we apply for you, we work for you within your, within your budget. And one of the beautiful things is because I make the tea, I have a lot of different options for people. You know, there's different types of options that people can get based with on their budget. And the beauty of it is that we can do it all in house and really pass the savings on to the patient. And that's the beauty of it. Now, okay, so somebody watching this today, they either have bleeding gums, bad breath, loose teeth, they're headed to a denture, or they're currently wearing a denture. If everything works out right, if they go to your office this afternoon, the day after tomorrow, they could have their new teeth. Really? That's correct. Yeah. And that's not far fetched. You, no, it's, it happens every single day. When, when you control all of it, when you follow a process, it's sort of, it's sort of like a roadmap. It's like, you know, that if you follow a roadmap and you're exactly where you need to be, you're going to get from A to Z in exactly that amount of time. That's just the way it is. We've taken the guesswork out of this. We've allowed our patients to be able to get something that's so predictable. That's so easy for them to go through that. I always tell my patients, stop worrying. I'm here to worry for you, but there's nothing to worry about because you know, it's not like we've done one. You know, some people go to their dentist and maybe the dentist does one a month, one a year. We do this every single day. How much is experience? Yes. I mean, oh, is it like anything know, else? Is, is it like anything else? You just get better at it, better at it, better at it. I would say it's um, easier than riding a bike for us at this point, because we just right? know all the, we know all the variables already. And when patients come in and say, you've seen the, I'm the worst you've seen. I'm going to say, no. I've seen them all. And here's a case exactly like yours. Here's something that's exactly what you want to do. Like, I want to show you this patient. All right. All right. Sandy. Okay. Sandy works with people. He's, uh, he has his own business. He's doing everything he needs to do to be able to live his life. But he's shy. Imagine owning your own business and being shy. Okay. And I can tell inside of him, he's a great person. He's tall. He has a big presence, but he's shy. I'm telling you, I changed his teeth. He didn't become arrogant or anything. He just became a better version of who he was. And wow. look at this after. I mean, look at him. He looks younger. He and this guy would have been wearing a denture. I mean, this guy, literally, his option was a denture. Yeah, he was told he's going to wear a denture. And that's it. And is no that, option. Is that, so if you're told somewhere else you need to eventually get a denture, you need to see Dr. Abenine <laughs> in yeah. New Jersey. Is that right? Yeah, so people, I, I mean, people fly in, people could travel two, three, four hours, but, but I, I guess what takes other guys literally 10 months you're doing in just a couple of visits, three visits or whatever, if everything works out. Yeah. yeah. But not only that, the visit is really easy. So you may say like, well, I don't want to travel all the way to come and see him, but the amount of time you spend in my office is so minimal compared to the old process. I were what I call the old process or not the Excel implant process, it'd be crazy to get it done any other way. You know, Dr. Abinite, I got to tell you, I was, I was talking to a dentist about this and I, about this Excel implant process. And uh, he goes, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's safe. I think you need to do the surgery, let the, let the bone grab onto that implant. I'm paraphrasing slightly, but he said, you got to let the bone grab onto the implant for at least three months, six months. What, what do you say to that? Because I'm sure dentists are telling this to patients. How is Dr. Abenine doing it so quickly? I have one word. It's called Excel. And the name, the reason we called it that is because we accelerate everything. So I want to show you this patient. So All right. take, it's perfect just to answer you. So take a look at this patient. She's a happy person. She smiles. But imagine I tell her with that huge smile that she has, whether she has good teeth or not, you're going to be wearing a denture because I haven't developed and I haven't researched and I haven't studied dentistry the way that it should be and i'm going to make you for the next six months of your life or eight months or ten months you're going to be miserable you know what she says i'm out of here i'm fine i'm not that bad and that's what happens a lot of patients don't get this done but i mean look at this after that's I big mean, like seriously yeah this is huge this lady is i think she started her own youtube channel like she is so alive I mean, I mean, Randy, people say, eh, it's just teeth. But look at it. You can see it in people's eyes. They're not faking. Yeah. She looks, I mean, They're it, it changes who she looks like and how people perceive her, I'm sure. And uh, I mean, 
And that's the thing. Imagine if she had to go through a process that took her a year, two years to go through because she's not getting the Excel process. I don't think she'd be smiling like this. If she didn't get the predictable result that we gave her, why should she smile like this? And we ask every single patient at the end of the day, when they finish with their teeth, whether it's two weeks later, a year later, we have the testimonials that are there. What do you, would you tell someone that's looking at the program or is thinking of doing the Excel implant process? They say, do it. Don't hesitate, just get it done because this will change your life. And you know, I tell, I tell people, get in there, do it now, or you could live with the pain for the next couple of years and then do it then. You decide, it's your life, it's your pain, how, how quickly do you want to be able to get to where your life is the way you want it to be? Go out with your friends, smile. Don't think about your teeth ever again. Just live. We have enough things in life to worry about. But you know, finally, when you talk like this, Dr. Abedine, when you talk like this, I think of those, you know, hair commercials, guy gets his hair and he's traveling and hiking and swimming and dating. It's the same thing with this. I mean, at least that's what I'm picking up on that if you're pumped about your appearance, if you look in the mirror and like what you see, now all of a sudden your charisma comes out and you describe it in a way like you're almost showing me baby pictures, right? You're so proud of this. So anyway, we're, we're short on time. But what about those people? Because look, nobody likes going to the dentist. I'm not afraid of the dentist, but I don't wanna to go to the dentist. What do you do for these anxious people or for people that just put things off? Yeah, um, you know, we ask a lot of our patients, why do you think that you ended up like this? Why is it that you're in a denture now? Why is it that your teeth are not healthy? Why is it that you're missing teeth? What is it? What is it? And I can tell you, there's just so many people that say to me, I'm really afraid. I had a really bad experience when I was a kid. And that's when we get, that's the easiest thing for us. We get rid of that fear. And you know why we get rid of that fear? We have sedation and it's very safe. The patient comes in, we have an anesthesiologist, they go to sleep, right? And it's as if they're just on an island for a couple of hours. They wake up, they took a really nice nap and they walk out on their own. They don't have to stay in the hospital or any of that stuff. They just get up, walk out on their own, look at their smile, go home and that's it. Move on with your life. And that's the beauty of it. So there's no, the fear is no longer an excuse because we get rid of that for you. You go to sleep. You say, you say that up. some people almost have like a little amnesia about the whole procedure. They're walking out yeah, with new teeth. Anything. Really? Nothing. You go to sleep, I say hi, you wake up, you look like a different person. So Randy, I, I call it sleep, but you know, they're sedated, they're under anesthesia, they're controlled, they're safe, and they wake up from their sedation and they have their brand new teeth. Who wouldn't want that? Have you ever had anybody even uh, like, you know, they maybe they, they get a ride home from their spouse or partner and they wake up, they forgot that they even had it done? Has that ever happened? I think you told me that happened. No, no they, they forget what we said to them when they woke up. Okay. But they never forget they got it done because this is something that they've been thinking about their whole life. You know, they may have seen my program two, three, four, five times over the next past year. And then they finally get the courage. You know, it's not so easy to just say, well, I want to change my life. Not everybody just does that. But to get the courage to pick up the phone and actually show up and say, I want this for me. Now is my time. It's tremendous. So, no, they don't forget about this. They know this because this is one of the most important things they do in their lives. Okay, so Dr. Abadad, I'm gonna ask you again. So somebody's watching this, maybe they have no teeth or teeth that need to be extracted. And let's say this is airing in the morning at seven o'clock or early in the morning. If they go in today, you get your records, their history, tomorrow they could have their teeth, their brand new set of teeth added. Is that correct? Is that true or impossible? In theory, it's correct, but you know, because of this program and because of the awareness, uh, our schedule is uh, not so, but, 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 but it could happen. I mean, if somebody's watching this now, they go in today, you see them tomorrow, they get their teeth. That's possible. That's correct. That's correct. But that's not because ideally how it's, how it's going to happen, but you could do this yeah, in three. Because of our, because, yeah. Because of our technology, we can do everything. So while they're sleeping, their teeth are being fabricated. They wake up the next morning. It's in their mouth. When you talk to other dentists, because I know you're on big stages across the country. When you're talking to other dentists, are they skeptical as well? Or they're afraid of the procedure? You know, luckily, uh, dentists are skeptics, not because they're negative, but because they want the best for their patients. And for them to be able to do something that's never been done before, of course, it's skeptical. They think like this is not possible. And that's why my process has thousands of cases between me and between my students. 
it's all over the place. And that's why, you know, we have patents in what we do. Our devices are exactly the way they need to be. And everything is controlled. That's why we call it the Excel implant process. Okay, good. And you maintain them as that as well, right? I mean, after they get their new teeth, they could come back to you for cleanings or your office. Is that true or no? Yeah. You know, when you get your teeth fixed, it's not, you just get your teeth fixed and you're gone. You enter our family. We now are in control of your teeth. We now are in control of your dental health and you're with us forever. I want to ask you about the denture wearers. Again, you, we've talked about this. You said you could probably help them the most in New Jersey. There's more than a hundred thousand people with an upper lower denture. Why is it so hard to get these denture wearers to come in? Is it because of all the stuff they went through before they got their denture? I think it's a, it's a, a couple of things. Obviously it's a fear. It's something that they say, well, I never want to go to the dentist again because my last experience was them pulling out of my teeth, but it's also misinformation. Sometimes when you have a denture, you haven't been to the dentist in 20 years and you think that dentistry 20 years ago is dentistry today. And I can tell you that although the Excel implant process is 10 years ahead of its time, it's just go get the information because there's no reason you should wear a denture, take it out at night. There's no reason you should be worried about going out with your friends and not being able to order what you want, not be able to smile, worrying about your teeth falling out, having all of that glue in your mouth. It's time for you to take a change. Imagine having your teeth. I can tell you, I have so many patients, 30, 40, 40 years of denture wears. They've been told they're not implant patients. They, they did their research. They are not implant patients. They say, okay, let's go home with my denture. And they come here and they see the program and they say, really, you can help me? Absolutely. You got in the car, you drove here, you're healthy. Let's do this. Let's change your life. You know, well, you, Dr. Abbott, I, I want to thank you. For, we're, we're out of time. Final message. Let me watch you this again. They've seen you before. They're still skeptical. They've heard about this, you know, two day process, three day process, getting teeth in the same day. Uh, maybe they're worried about pain. They're worried about all these things. What do you say to them? I dedicated my life to invent this Excel implant process for patients like you. So just call us, find us. And I'm telling you, just listen to where the way that we can help you. You have nothing to lose. Good. And uh, do they still get to see you on the consult when they're there? Yeah. yeah, only me. Okay, good. Dr. Abadad, always a pleasure to have you on the program. They could go to your website to learn more. Uh, and to make us uh, an appointment, they just call or do it online. What do you prefer? Yeah, they can do it online. They could call us. I have an amazing team. My treatment coordinator will talk to them and they'll get them all set up, educate them, and then they get to meet me and we're off to the races. All right, Excel Dental Implant Process, that's what you need to ask before you get your implants according to you. Anyway, Dr. Abadad, thanks again for coming on the program. Thank you, Randy. You've been watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.